Hello friends and welcome back to Rival Stars. They've added a bunch of new coat patterns which I am so excited to breed with today. But before we start, if you like horses as much as I do, head over to pinehavenponies.co.uk to browse and maybe pick up your very own model horse. We've got a sale on all of the regular run stuff and if you're a seasoned collector you might find some expensive special edition run stuff. There's proper words that I should be using here that I can't remember right now because I am actually a collector club member, it's a premier club member, a vintage club member, and a stable mate club member. So like you'll be seeing all of this stuff come onto the shop as and when I get it out throughout the year. So make sure to bookmark pinehavenponies.co.uk to check in what we've got new as well. And don't be fooled by the .co.uk because we do actually ship internationally, not just to the UK. So I'll leave the link in the description and in the pinned comment. And there's a cool like carousel wheel where you can like browse the products on there as well. So definitely check that out if you're interested. So. On to Rival Stars. Now, this is the desktop version for anyone wondering, and we get different updates to the mobile. It tends to be we get the mobile updates a couple months or even maybe even a year after it's actually been released to mobile. So we don't actually know if these coat patterns are on mobile, because that's the one thing that doesn't seem to line up sometimes. There was like a big long list on the Steam update, and I had a look through some of the coat patterns and they're really pretty. I picked out some of my favorites. I didn't get all of the coat patterns because we would have just filled up all of the stalls and there would have been no space for the babies and we have to make some really pretty babies today so I'll just quickly run you through who we've got here we've got Anger she is a amber chestnut with a pinto embrace that's a new coat pattern she is hidden with frame of arrow which is interesting then we've got iconic actually before I continue make sure to pay attention because I want you guys to tell me who is your favorite horse from these base starter horses in the comments below here is iconic she's a classic black champagne this is Sally Francais as well, so we've got a mix of the breeds with a jumpsuit pinto. This I really liked. If you guys know me, I'm a sucker for pintos. There was actually quite a few pintos on the list as well as like some roans and some Appaloosas, so we should be seeing a mix of those coming up. And then we have Eclipse. Eclipse is my absolute favorite out of the bunch. This one is by far my favorite. This is a sleeved roan. Normally I don't go for roans, but for some reason this just mwah. I love it. Here we have Fever, who is a sharp Overo. It's an interesting coat pattern, not my absolute favorite, but it's there. Then we have Insult. Now, I actually really like this base color. I can't remember the name of the coat. I know it's a flax and chestnut with double dilution, but there's like a specific name for it. This is a thorny Overo, so very interesting. Here is our first stallion. We've got Superstar with a Dalmatian Appaloosa. It's bold, it's it's bold, it's brash, I kind of love it. Then we, finally, we have our Arabian Stallion who is bluff and this is a collared Appaloosa. Kind of love it, I cannot lie. I kind of love like the collar going around the neck and the rest of the body being like an Appaloosa. I think that looks gorgeous. So definitely let me know in the comments which one is your favorite. So we actually have bluff already set as a stud. So I'm thinking, Let's just start with that. Now the thing is, is we do have six mares to choose from so we can sort of like play with the genetics and um, spice things up a little bit. So for our first breeding, we've got Bluff and I'm reckoning we definitely go Anger. Anger is just a gorgeous baby. So let's start with her. Then we will do Bluff and I am showing favoritism towards Eclipse. I mean, look at the two of them. They're so cute. Oh, I bet they're gonna make a really pretty baby. So we're gonna go ahead and breed Eclipse and Bluff. Then for our final breeding, we are going to be doing, mm, who should we pick? I'm thinking Insult. Just because Insult is interesting. <laughs> if you guys are playing mobile or you've been keeping up with the mobile updates, they have added a crossbreeding now. That's not on desktop yet. The baby will come out either as like one or the other. There is no like crossbreeding yet, soon, maybe one day, but it's not here quite yet. So let's go ahead and breed Insult and Bluff. We'll scroll all the way back to Anger and see what she gives us. Please be cute. I don't have any expectations. I just want it to be pretty. That's all I'm asking. <gasps> I mean, yeah, that works. This coat color is actually really pretty. Decent stats as well. Those are not too bad. I don't actually know what coat pattern that is. So shall we find out by skipping to Mare? Baritone is a great name. This is a filly. But Baritone's a cool name. I feel like it's unisex. It doesn't matter. Oh, okay. I actually really like their coat color. I believe that's one of the new patterns. Success. Love that. Let's see. Pinto and Brace. I'm like 99% sure that's one of the new ones. Yes, okay. It's the same as her mum. 
I don't know why I, re I didn't register that, but she does have the same as her mum, Pinto and Brace, but this one, she's a classic chestnut with a cream dilution. So pretty. I'd say that was a success for the first one. I have high hopes for Eclipse though. I really, really do. Please be cute. Mmm. <gasps> I feel like that might be one of the new... Actually, that is. That's the same as the mum. I don't know why I'm so blind, but that is the same pattern as the mum. I'm not a massive fan of that coat colour, though. I feel like it's not... I feel like rare is not the right name for this horse. I feel like it's quite bog standard. So let's go with... What did I even pick? Reaction. That was the name. Okay. It's definitely grown on me when he's grown up. I think he looks a little bit better than he did when he was a foal. Exactly the same as his mum, though, with the... what? What is this called? sleeved roan and i do like that look but i think it suits the darker horses a little bit better i mean i guess it's roan but it looks like powdered sugar and it looks really cute so our final breeding for the first round is insult now i'm not sure what to expect here please be cute though oh she delivered she served that is a hundred percent a new coat because i have never seen that before this foal is a f uh, an arabian i forgot all my words just then but she's so cute let's see what she looks like grown up i feel like fox isn't the right name for her so we'll go with friday friday's a great name for a, a little filly <gasps> oh that coat color is so gorgeous i'm intrigued by the pattern the, the there is so much white on this coat so it is an ink blot pinto which i do recognize i don't know why i recognize it but i do recognize the name which makes me think it's not new But it's really interesting, nevertheless, and just the a sheer amount of, like, white on this horse. Or should I say grey? There's always an argument in the comments, but it's always directed at me. It's always people yelling at me, saying that I'm, I'm silly, because there are no white horses. Or, like, yes, there are white horses, and the, here are the criteria for... I don't know, guys. I don't know what the answer is anymore. So I'm just going to call it white for just ease's sake. So that was our first batch of breeding. Who was your guys' favorite from this batch? I think Baritone was mine. React? Action is cute. Friday's interesting. I'll be interested to see if anyone picks Friday just because it is quite a bold coat. My heart is definitely with Baritone. I think that's a really pretty look. So we did just breed with Bluff. So I think I'll switch it to Superstar. So we'll set him as a stud. And we did actually breed. Reaction is a stallion. So we can also throw him in the mix as well for our breeding, which is quite fun. So onto the foal stores. Let's get these pairings underway. Now I did see a couple people ask to do breedings with, with the horses that come up here normally they're really bland kind of boring horses but then recently i've noticed i've got some like really interesting like coat opportunities from them so i'm far more likely to do that video so let me know if that's something you'd be interested in but anyway we're on to superstar who has a very unique coat pattern i think we'll pick maybe a horse that we didn't get to breed let's do iconic because she's iconic she's not really to be fair actually i'm lying with her name she's not that iconic i'm sorry but she's not she's just like a basic sort of look let's go with fever i feel like fever could be interesting here she's really pretty i do really like her and finally i'm tempted to do eclipse again but then i might do friday because that'll add some variety in the gene pool so let's do these two they are looking very very interesting also let me know in the comments a lot of people have been asking rival stars to become like more of a horse game because originally if you don't know this game started basically purely as like a racing game but then the horse girls kind of took over so what features and what kinds of gameplay would you like to see in rival stars to make it more like of a horsey game do let me know so we're starting off with iconic and i'm gonna wait three seconds so it ticks over into the lower band there we go i'm saving money follow me for more financial tips okay skip let's see what we've got okay I saw this. I can't remember which of the parents had this hidden gene, but I am not a fan of... I think it's a Splash Overo. I could be completely wrong in saying that, but I don't think that I am. I'm going to call this horse Revenge. Like, the thing is, is I can look at that and say it is really unique and really pretty. I think... Oh, uh, what was his name? What was that horse's name? Right on the tip of my tongue. It started with a B. Baylock. There we go. Baylock from Red Dead Redemption 2. Was he, actually? Now I'm questioning myself. Either way, the half splash, that was it. It's a half splash. It's 
more of an America quarter horse thing, I feel. Like, you'd see it in, like, Western, either some movies or, like, games or stuff like that. Just not my cup of tea. I don't know why. Still, cute horse, though. It is a mare. So that was our first horse on the second batch. Let's see what Fever has to offer. Again, still hoping it's cute. <gasps> oh, it's interesting. It's very interesting. So I think that's the second time we've had that coat color. First time we've had that coat pattern though, I'm pretty sure. No, I'm literally lying. Why am I, am I lying, lying so, so hard? hard? <laughs> this is the dad's coat pattern. Okay, I'm so silly. All right, I don't know why I'm just blind to these coat patterns. I keep waffling on about how it's the first time I've seen something and it literally isn't. But this is an interesting look. This is a very interesting look. I'm not sure how I feel about it. I think the dad's coat color looked better. Here he is, Superstar. So it is the Dalmatian Appaloosa, which is a new one. But I just feel like steel gray look is just better than the rich brown with the cream dilution. I don't know why, it just, it doesn't work as well in my opinion. Still cute though. Let's see what Friday has to give us. I have no idea what this is gonna produce. Oh! Okay, so this isn't a new coat pattern. I have seen that. I can't recall the name. It is so cute though. This is an Arabian. So they kept the Arabian gene in here. This is also a stallion, which is lovely. I'll call him Comfort. It literally, my naming process is just removing one of the words at this point, just to make it shorter. Oh, he's cute. Do really like that coat color though. Interesting, what was the pattern name? Splattered Sabino, I definitely have seen that one before. It's interesting, we're getting a lot of interesting coat patterns here, which I'm kind of loving. So that was our second batch. We started off with Revenge. I'm on the fence about this horse. Then we had Companion, which I'm not the biggest fan of. And then we come to Comfort. So I think this would by default make Comfort my favorite out of this batch. But do let me know what you guys' opinions are. Because I feel like I always have an opinion that like some people either 100% agree with or some people just like completely oppose. And they're like, no, Revenge is the cutest, for instance. But I'm just, I'm not sure. So that's our breedings done with the base stallions. So I'm thinking maybe we pick one of the bred stallions that we've got. So we've got, only got comfort or reaction. I do like reactions pattern, the sleeved roan, but I just generally like the look of comfort more. But then the Splatter Sabino isn't new. So I'm tempted to go with reaction. I'll go with reaction, yeah. Th there's my thought process for you. Just a non-stop train of, of thinking. <laughs> so <laughs> let's get on to breeding. We're gonna go with reaction. And I know that he's from Eclipse, so I'm not gonna breed those two. Look at me, I'm being a responsible horse owner. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do Baritone. I think they're quite interesting, so let me breed those two. Baritone is actually a really pretty horse. Then I'll do Anger, why not? Is that our second Arabian breeding? It is. I don't know why, but the Arabians are like dominating in the gene pool at the minute. So maybe I won't do an Arabian next. Let's do Reaction and Insult. I feel like Insult has more to give us. So let's see what she sort of comes up with. I am hoping to see some of the other new coats that were in there as well, but I'm not expecting. As I said before, if you're familiar with Rival Stars or you're familiar with my breeding videos, you'll know that that custom creation horses don't have a pedigree and some of the genetics is based on pedigree so the great grandsire will be taken into account when sort of like rolling for chances when they're missing it tends to be a little bit more randomized with those coats so that's a good thing and a bad thing depending on what you sort of want to get out of the breedings so let's go ahead and start with baritone let's see what you've got in store <gasps> okay it's subtle it's new. I bet that that is new. That is uh, the Embrace Pinto, same as the mum. I'm seeing it now, same as the mum. I'm gonna call you Clock. Clock is quite a cute name. I'm just a sucker for bays in general, and mm, I was gonna say, I mean, this it is it is really cute, but that's not the type of bay. I'm like a dark bay or like a light bay person with like the really dark legs, like that sort of look. So this is like. Mm, this is a classic brown with the nun and it is a pinto embrace same as the mother interesting interesting i don't hate it let's see what anger has to give us she also has the pinto's embrace pattern which i've just noticed oh my god if i bred that like without having custom creation horses i'd say that that was like a sporkle like twin or something you know like she's close enough to sporkle that i'd call her sporkle but we do have an actual sporkle if you guys haven't seen that video where i recreate some of my horses with the new breeds definitely go check that out i'll, I'll link that up in the in the uh, words are difficult in the corner okay wallpaper 
Interesting name. We're gonna go for it. Wallpaper, what do you look like? Oh, she's cute. She, ah, she's got that like flashbang. I don't know why some of the coats when they're in this screen just absolutely flashbang you. And it's only some of them. Obviously it's like the really light coats, but yeah, it blinds me every single time. So this is an amber chestnut with a champagne dilution and a cartographer's pinto, which is not new. I definitely have seen the cartographer's pinto before. Still really cute though. Let's see what insult has to bring. Ooh, okay, I see the crescent moon on the marking at the front, and I wanna say that that's the cartographer's pinto as well, but I might be wrong because I can't see properly from this angle. So this is another mare, let's skip her. Chaos, what a great name for a horse. I definitely have had a horse named Chaos in this game before. Still really cute though. Is this a cartographer's pinto? It, actually, I might be wrong. Let's have a look. This is, is a cartographer's pinto. So we bred a pinto braised cartographer's pinto and another cartographer's pinto, interesting. So my favorite out of this batch, clock is cute, a little bit understated. Wallpaper's my favorite. I'm not even gonna pretend like wallpaper is absolutely my favorite. So cute. I am a sucker for palominos, especially like pinto slash paint palominos. Just mwah, love them. And then chaos is interesting as well, but it is that classic brown look again. So shall we do another one? I am tempted to breed with comfort just because he does have in his pedigree the newer coat. So I reckon he'll still come through and everything will be okay, I think. Let's go ahead and pick comfort and ooh, let's pick one of the new ones. Let's do comfort and wallpaper. Don't know if they're related because it's hard to keep track. So we'll do comfort and wallpaper and... I'm tempted to do Friday because they're so interesting. I'm telling you, the Arabians are taking over my stable. I'm not complaining, but they are taking over my stable. Okay, let's go ahead and pick Comfort and I'm gonna try and pick a Sally Francais because I feel like I've accidentally bred them out of existence. I think I've done Iconic. Let's go with Revenge because they're also a Sally Francais. So uh, hopefully we'll get more than just Arabians this time, but it's not a problem if you do get loads of Arabians because I love them anyway. So let's go ahead and skip. Da 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 da. <gasps> Cute! Oh, I love that. I told you guys I love Palominos. Interesting coat pattern though. I want to say that's new. Shall we, shall we discover? Beach is a great name for this haul. Actually, Sand Dollar. Is that two separate words? It is now. Sand Dollar. There's a Brea horse that I kind of want on the Bouncer Mold and it's called Sand Dollar and it's really expensive because it's like one of the special ones. But this horse reminds me of it. It's cute. I love it. What's the... Oh, Splatter Sabino. That's definitely not new. I don't think that's new. That that sounds like I've, I've heard it before. Okay, Friday. What do you have in store? Insert Friday song. Oh, okay. Same as the dad whose name i can't remember right now but um i actually really like this face marking in combo with this this pattern i think that works really well let's call him tree yeah why not let's just call him tree oh he's cute oh he is cute i love how on that face marking on the front he has like a pink bit to his nose i think that that's just so cute and let's see what revenge has in store for us today Oh, cute. So that is the collared Appaloosa, I think, which is really interesting. I did say at the beginning that I did like that look. So let's go ahead and skip. What a great name. I'm just going to call him a uh horse. -huh, sorry. I'm going to call her Plate. What a great name for a horse. Cute. Okay. I actually really like that coat color. I cannot lie to you guys. Right. So that was, I've lost track of numbers. That's our insert number here, breeding. Sand dollar has to be my favorite. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna be bog sanded and go with the Palomino. Then we had Tree, who was really interesting, I feel. And then Plate. I really wanna pick Plate, but then the Palomino's here, so I have to go with the Palomino. But do let me know in the comments what you guys thought of the new coat patterns. I honestly, like, I don't care how many coat colors and how many coat patterns they release, the more the merrier. It just gives me so much more freedom to create horses, recreate horses, and to get some really interesting breeding outcomes as well. So I will always welcome new colors and patterns. I am really excited for the American Quarter Horse to come to desktop whenever that is going to come. But let me know in the comments who was your favorite horse that we bred today. And of course, if you have any game suggestions for Rival Stars, because I'd love to read them. Oh, and also go to pineapplepodies.co.uk 
Kate UK before I forget. The link is in the description. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs> Stay positive and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.